my youtube channel hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is manoko if you don't know me and today i have a guest <laughs> hi everyone i'm anita hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel uh, my name is manoko mashangwani if you don't know me i am an attorney by profession and i am with a fellow officer of the court and uh today we are going to talk about opening your own law firm in south africa yes i'm not gonna get into detail like regarding your story or like all oh, your career history i just want like the tea on opening a law firm yeah we can get into it and right my dad's gonna watch this <laughs> but you know what i'll keep that in mind everyone this is anita manyama uh, Anita is an attorney, is an admitted attorney by profession. Uh, she holds an LLB from University of Limpopo and she is the director of Amanyama Attorneys Incorporated, which is a law firm that is based in Four Ways, Johannesburg. And it specializes in family law, civil litigation, labor law, contracts, etc. etc. I will link um their website and her contact details on the instagram page of her firm down in the description box in case you want you need help you need any legal services or maybe you need a principal the day you are able to take care of that in two years yes <laughs> give me yeah. two years yes but in the meantime please check out the website and follow the the business page and your personal page yes yeah my yeah. personal page is actually more fun <laughs> okay, okay. On business. <laughs> okay, yes, that's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them both on the screen. Okay, so Chomi, listen, I'm just gonna get straight to the point because we've already covered your mini history mm -hmm. when it comes to like your your career yeah. history. Yeah, so please just take us through the process of opening your own law firm. Okay, so um the basic requirements in Kenny are your admission yeah. obviously you need to be admitted as an attorney of the high court that means llb board exams two articles. or a year of articles plus law school and then yeah you get admitted after admission um you have to be enrolled as a member right you have to be a practicing member mm -hmm. yes okay. so you have to I'm pay ready. yes <laughs> so you have to like pay your annual fees i think we pay one nine something one nine five if you're under two years mm. which is like a lot of money i feel like in that in this profession you pray to breathe like you breathe mm. and, and then you make to cough up yeah yeah so you have to be a member so you get enrolled uh as soon as you are done with all that um then you register your practice so there's like a different ways uh of doing it in terms of registering your practice but i think at the end the end goal is the same mm -hmm. so i personally registered my practice with uh cipc first i mm -hmm. reserved your name there however the tricky part with doing that first is the fact that uh lpc is very strict when it comes to reserving your name mm -hmm. right so but i when i did that with cipc i just used my name and saying mm -hmm. however there was another anita manyama attorneys yeah that so that's another thing that helps you when you do it with lpc uh cipc excuse me when you do it with cipc first you get to see whether your name exists or there's a duplicate of the name that you want to reserve so i did that and i realized that there's another manyama something mm -hmm. similar to my one so they suggested a name that no one has has ever used mm -hmm. but it did uh incorporate my name and say name so it was a manyama attendance inc so after you register with you reserve a name with cipc and um, they register it as a personal liability company that is very important mm -hmm. um you need to you can't be a p2 ltd yeah. as a law firm so it needs to be a personal liability company from there on you take everything, all the forms, and then you send to CIPC. Mm. LPC. Yeah. Excuse me. You send to LPC, and then also, when you send to LPC, they'll send you forms that you need to submit to them. Um, so before, the forms include uh, a trust account. So by then, after you have registered, you need to open a, an account, a trust account, mm. you know, with whatever bank of your choice. And then after that, you send those details to CIP to LPC, and then they will register your practice on their side and give you a phone number. 
So send you an email confirming that your practice has been registered. But to get there, you need to be enrolled, pay the annual fees. You need to have a letter of good standing. Mm -hmm. You can't pay, and you pay for it. Certificate. And there's fidelity fund certificate as well that you pay for. Mm -hmm. So you can't get your fidelity fund certificate if you haven't paid your annual fees if you don't have a letter of good standing as mm -hmm. well. And all these things you pay. I think the fidelity fund is like 375 the what is this? the letter of good standing is like 300 and whatever yeah. and there's an annual fees as well so you need to like have a little bit of money before you can like try registering your practice and then after that yeah that's it you're registered yeah so that's the process okay of how long does practice. the process usually take with the admin stuff involved i mean it depends we all know that you call and call and call and you want yeah. to cry but it depends with cipc depending on their backlog sometimes they'll take for me i think they took about two weeks because i think i started my registration mid um feb last year hence this week my firm was turning a year old because i think i registered excuse me my practice mid fab mm -hmm. and that happened and then there was the lpc um process that took like a week so officially i launched it on the 14th of march last year so the entire process probably took like three weeks but now apparently it takes long i don't know what's happening but that's how you know i did it do you think it's longer because you had to go through the capc first or I mean, I think that LPC responds faster, so I think maybe you want me to do it. Yes, they do. No, what do you mean? They don't. I they, mean, like, they, they do not. They reply faster with my no. things, like from articles to like changing, well, enrollment thing. I waited for like, for them to register my things. I think I waited for like at least two weeks, if I'm being honest. Like the first week I submitted everything and I didn't hear from, like they literally just ghosted me. And I was like, what the hell is going on? And then the next week I started like sending several emails yeah. following up. And there's too many people in yeah, they, like they too many. Mention, many mention, yeah, mention. you call this one, they refer to someone, you mm. call them, they don't answer. You call, you call, she doesn't answer, and then you call again the main person, and you're like, Hey, I'm trying to call this person. The person's like, Okay, let me tell them to answer. Mm. Then they tell them to unless they tell them, Hey, answer your phone, that somebody needs assistance, that person doesn't care to answer. Yo, fan, I didn't know that. I always get assistance real quick when yeah, I... When I wish that would be. But like with the whole process of registering my practice, it wasn't easy. It, it took so long. It was just so frustrating because it's like, what is the issue? I paid for everything. I have complied with everything. Like, what is taking so long? So I had to like nag them with emails and calls every single day until, yeah, eventually. Okay, so the whole process practice. took you about two... Three two to four weeks, a, a month. Yeah. Shab, you mentioned we mentioned the basic requirements, mm -hmm. which is your admission and the the required documents, your letter of good standing, your defense certificate, proof of payment. Because I'm talking about who you were. Basically, money. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then money. obtaining your fidelity fund certificate and the fees. Mm -hmm. And now the PMT requirements. PMT is short for practical management training, right? Yes. Yes, what's that? How's that going? Okay, so uh, it's a lot. However, so when you open your practice, right, other people prefer doing PMT before they open their own practice. However, mm -hmm. you get like, what is the English word? There's an exception, exemption. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what, yeah. But yeah. basically, they pardon you for like a year. So you year. have like, from opening your practice, you have like a whole year of registering for PMT and actually you completing the PMT. So before your your firm turns a year, you must have registered and completed the PMT. However, if you don't manage, like me, I don't manage because it was so hard for me on the first year, so trying to find my feet, you know, trying to keep the business going and all that. So I don't have much time to register for PMT and actually do it. Um, so I registered it for the first intake this year, but mm -hmm. my firm just turned a year. Mm -hmm. So which means I was a little bit late. So I had to like write a letter oh. ex like asking them to grant me an exception. Yeah. Exemption. Donation. Whatever that is. But yeah, I had to do that and then yeah, they granted it to me because I just my reasons were valid. I mean I'm in the first year of practice. I have no idea what I'm doing most mm -hmm. of the time. So I'm still trying to balance, you know, the pressure mm -hmm. as well. So yeah. So PMT is like law school, <laughs> advanced law school, <laughs> advanced law, law school, school for yeah. admitting attorneys that have their own practice. So it's basically like a short course for, 
people who have qualified. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. And How much is it now? It's like almost three thousand. It's like two nine something. It's it's five k. No, I think someone lied to. Me. <laughs> I think I know someone who lied about me. No, I paid like 2.89 something, almost 2.9. And how long does it take? Um, well, we're supposed to complete by July, I think. I don't, I'm not really sure of the dates, but I do know that we're supposed to be done with the, for the first intake. We're supposed to be done by either April, I don't know, but like somewhere there. So it takes like a few months, four to five months at most. Because a lot that needs to be done is a yeah, lot, lot of assignments. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's like calculations. Yeah, it's like advanced bookkeeping. It's like you remember bookkeeping, you know, paper for. It's like it's an advanced paper for paper that you need to like do. It's not like multiple choice way. You remember when we were doing uh, law school? Law school, yeah. On yeah, the EGDA, just, on the EGDA, yeah, yeah, you get like multiple. Choice. It's not you guys do actual calculations. We have quizzes. Those are the multiple choice questions where you get like 10 questions, mm -hmm. right? Then you have extra And then assignment. we have the actual assignments where you have to type everything, convert it to PDF, sign a declaration that you didn't copy anyone, no one helped you, and then you upload it there. Mm. So it's like, mm. it's, 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 it's days like this that remind <laughs> me that I made the right decision. But... It's very tricky. It's very, mm. very tricky. Okay. Uh, and then some of the strict requirements by the LPC which is i know of the name thing mm -hmm. i also know that back then i'm not sure about now like back then they used to be very strict with how you market your business because you're in the novel profession yes yeah, so you're not supposed to tout touting is totally out of you know ethics yeah yeah so you know in ethics they teach us about touting so you're not me my subscribers don't know about ethics please explain oh so <laughs> i hope i get this right so there's a difference between marketing your business and touting your business. So there's a thin line actually. Yeah. You so you see when I market my business, I basically just tell people about my business, right? But if I'm gonna offer, want to offer someone something, right? Just mm -hmm. so they can give me business. Mm -hmm. Now that can be viewed as you touting the business. Mm -hmm. For example, let's say go people who play golf, right? Yeah. Most people close business deals yeah. in golf, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're gonna get there and maybe try to give a discount mm -hmm. just so you can get business. Mm -hmm. then that's I remember true. there was a scenario when we were writing our paper three exam last year. There was a scenario similar to this one. A lot of people, if I think we failed this question. I <laughs> mean, I passed first attempt. I passed first attempt. So I think last year in March, there was like a similar scenario oh. that I was talking about uh, the touting thing. Yeah. So it's something like that. Like if you're gonna offer business, uh, expecting to, if you're gonna offer someone something, mm -hmm. right, just so they can give you business, that is touting and, and that is restricted. Yeah, it's restricted. You're not supposed to do that. But you can market your business. There's no um restrictions in, te in terms of how you market your business as long as you're not saying oh hey guys by the way you know i'll discount this for you just so you can give me that much business mm -hmm. you know you yeah. have to the rules are very strict in terms of that if it's 25 percent let's stick to 25 percent mm -hmm. don't say okay instead or i'll cut you a share yeah of whatever okay. you, are not, you can't do that okay and then um other restrictions regarding the name Okay, the name, it needs to be specifically your name and surname. Or your surname. surname. Yes, your name and surname. That's why other people, they have like their surnames. It's like I can have Manya Martinis. Yeah. But for me, there were so many Manya Martinis mm. Inc. Or Manya Martinis, whatever, mm. Incorporated. It's the same thing. But Manya Martinis and Associate, basically, there were a lot. So yeah. they suggested something that yeah. wasn't there. So, but the name and surname thing is very strict. I also didn't know about this. Yeah, I always used to say that I'm going to, to open my firm and call it Pocupine and Partners <laughs> Incorporated. So, like, baby, no. I wanted to call it, and, and, like, I wanted to use my mother's name. I was like, I'm going to marry Jane. Mary Jane. Attorneys. Oh, never that. I'm, like, in honor of my mother. Way. Mm -hmm. Never that. Hmm. I used to dream about this. And then when I started sending articles, I learned about all these strict yeah. things. I'm like, oh, ruining my vibe. But, mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they are very strict. That is exactly why I had to leave practice because they couldn't allow me to practice <laughs> under my brand of <laughs> social media. Mother Porcupine and so that would be so oh, cool. By the way, I saw this lady from uh, the States. She opened a law firm. She called it she calls it the pink law firm. Like oh, yeah, I know you, I, I follow her on, on yes. Insta. Yeah. I'm like that is so cute. Like yeah. everybody comes to the office wearing pink, pink and the office is decorated. 
it's giving right. Elle Woods. No, it's giving I'm a ghost girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it so much. And it's giving Elle Woods mm. as such. Yes. I've always wanted to ask you that. Have you always wanted to have your own firm? That is a very funny question. Like, whenever people ask me that, I just remember my principal. Yeah. <laughs> so, here's a scenario. First year, uh, no, before my first year actually, I always thought um, I want to be in the legal fraternity, but I didn't know whether I would end up being like practicing on my own accord mm-hmm or being in corporate or whatever, I just wanted to do a thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, when I went for an interview in Pretoria, where I served my, the, the last film, because I served Sorry. in three films, right? Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> I served my articles in three long films, but the third one was the one that was my home, my boss was amazing, mm-hmm. shout out to him, Mr. Khaled, you'll always be a real one. So, uh, when I got there, on the interview, you asked me, why, where do you see yourself in five years? This is yeah. 2020 and yeah. all this. I'm like, oh, that is a very interesting question. Um, I do know that I have a lot to give. You know, in interviews, you're shaky, yeah. shaky. You try and get a Yeah, camera. like you're trying to get the bag. You know, I know I'm very, uh, um, I'm, I'm a hard worker. So I think, you know, I'll probably be very successful. Yeah. I want to be, I'm hoping that I'm going to be a senior associate mm-hmm. and a firm. And then he was like, when I'm Matapa, he used to call me with my baby name. Yeah. He's like, Matapa, you don't want to open your own firm? I'm like, Mr. Holland, I'm not sure. Like at this point, mm-hmm. I'm not sure that it's something that's going to work for me. However, I want to see how practice will treat me. Mm-hmm. And then when I completed my articles, me and him had a meeting. I was actually planning to go to corporate. Mm-hmm. I was starting to apply, go the ABSA, your FMB, you know, mm-hmm. all these panels. I was like, I'm going to be a legal advisor. And then he set me down when I was setting my notice. He was like, Matapa, you're very good. You're street smart. Mm. You are very intelligent. Like, this is something you can do. So I don't understand why you don't want to open your own practice. And then I was like, this man thinks about them. It thinks this about me. Then that means I must be that good, right? Mm. It's not that I, I, like, maybe I had confidence issues. I always knew that I'm very good at my job. But I wasn't confident enough to know whether I could like open my own yeah, practice your own family. and then i came back home and then i sat down i was like okay but what do i have to do if i do this yeah um if this man who has been the, my teacher for the past two years has so much faith in me why can't i be confident enough to do this mm-hmm. then i sat down like okay what do i have to do nothing if i do this and i hate it i have my admission i'll have gained the yeah. experience i can still go do whatever that i want to yeah. do you know the the world is what your oyster. Your oyster. <laughs> I don't even eat oysters, but I'll take them. You don't. <laughs> I don't. No, no, After that, I had a conversation with myself, and I decided yeah. I'm doing this, and then I did it, and then it became better and better and better. Mm-hmm. And I had other colleagues, you know, helping me out, giving me business. Mm-hmm. You no, know, it really does take a, a, a village. A village. And I'll do work. Like I also learned that in this business of ours, it's where it's just word of mouth. That's how you get business. So mm-hmm. I do something for one person, then they tell someone else, and then I hear feedback about myself and how good I am. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, I like that. So that means I'm very good. So I just kept on gaining more confidence, mm-hmm. and yeah, I just kept on going. I guess. So your answer is that it was not your initial no, plan. No, it was not my plan. plan. No. Um. Oh, okay. Which answers my question that you know, if now that you've decided, you when you finally decided that you're gonna open your own firm. Um, wanted to ask if you wanted to open it immediately after admission because you opened it immediately, like immediately after, after I think it was, yeah, I got admitted in 26 in Jen, and Feb and then, already and it, on yeah. the 24th mm-hmm. so it was like immediately after but it was not always the plan mm-hmm. I just, the people that mm-hmm. I worked with were the one uh, who told me how good I am that mm-hmm. I you can do this but what uh, actually one thing I wasn't aware of is when my boss said, you are street smart. You mm. will fit perfectly in practice. Mm. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> then I sat down and I'm like, okay, let me do this. What do I have to do? I mean, okay. that's it. And also, I was unemployed for the longest time. So, well, yeah, because I left the firm in October and then yeah. I kept on applying. I couldn't get a job. Mm-hmm. And then I thought like, okay, let me try this thing. You know, it's not a last resort, but... Let me just try it. If I'm good at it, then I have nothing to lose. If I'm better at it, then I can just shut it down and go look for a job. I'm still young. Mm -hmm. I think. 
That is it, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think you're young too. I also think that you're young. I am young. young. So yeah. I get to make mistakes. I get to try things out yeah. and figure out what works for me and what I love. And, mm. you know, yeah, I think there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. I also think that you're very good. I've seen some of the work that you've dropped in and I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so what are some of the highs of having your own firm slash your own business, but like firm, but also business? Mm -hmm. What are some of the highs? The highs, uh, it's nice making your own money. It's very nice. Yeah. Money is nice. Of course. <laughs> There's a guy on Twitter always says, every time I post something, he's like, money is nice. Mm -hmm. He did not lie. Mm -hmm. Money is nice. Um, when you're working for yourself, um yeah yeah you're not limited in terms of like you have a salary mm -hmm. so that is my high mm -hmm. and also i like um the exposure that i get like you get to put yourself out there mm -hmm. you get to market a lot you know you get to act like a candidate attorney yeah sometimes <laughs> to get help yeah and, and also it's just so fulfilling um you have this I don't want to say pride but you're just so proud of yourself like i can actually do this like i'm actually doing it and it's just so fulfilling i love it so much it's mm -hmm. the most amazing thing ever and also the fact that um you control your own working hours like flexibility <laughs> that's i think that would be my favorite thing yeah like you control your own working hours you know my boss used to come back my previous principal i can't believe i still call him my boss like, yeah even i call him my, my like, principal my he's boss. always gonna be my boss yeah. like it's like i still feel like i have a boss yeah i have to like report him challenge <laughs> levels to this <laughs> that's how much of a good boss you are yeah so he used to like come at the office at any time i'm like this man i want to be him yeah that's, so yeah. Uh, yeah it's it's very amazing well, you it's, wouldn't come for three weeks bro yeah if and he the office would run yeah but like the nice thing is when you need him he's always there mm -hmm. call away so yeah it's it's very amazing i, I don't want it's very amazing like being young and doing your own thing being your own boss mm. it's, yeah it's the most big amazing. girls big things so. some of the lows that you have experienced uh, with running your firm your own firm or your own business okay so there is no room for mistakes because who are you gonna blame for the mistakes yeah you and you make a mistake it costs you money yeah. i remember um, one of the things again my boss taught me at the time was that every mistake costs money so that's the principle that i live by running my own practice that every mistake costs money so you don't have room for mistakes and you know we are human of mm -hmm. course we are yeah, going to make mistakes so it's like a very difficult like when you make a mistake it like shuts you down like you feel like oh my god this is the end of the world and it isn't mm -hmm. you know you just need to get up so there's no room for mistakes and sometimes people don't pay oh my goodness oh, yeah. it's like so difficult like i have an office that i need to pay for have like running a practice is very expensive mm -hmm. that's another thing there's so many hidden costs mm -hmm. so if there's no revenue coming into the practice that means that um i can't make copies Operate. i can't pay sheriff yeah. i can't move around it's very difficult so i would say um in the beginning um i was yeah i was struggling in that sense uh, but then as time went by you know i found what works for me and to keep you know, the cash flow mm -hmm. coming and all that and you know i just kept working i haven't actually had like an extreme low mm -hmm. that i would say okay this wanted me to wanted to make me quit maybe yeah. i am here to experience it i hope not <laughs> i hope not as well mm -hmm. but yeah and also it like it takes so a toll like on your mental health because you work with people and like it's just like with me it's just me i don't get help like it's not like i have an associate and a yeah. an attorney all the consult if i have five consultation it's, it's five only. people with five different problems yeah. in a day one person. so i'm gonna suck out that energy and when i come home i'm a zombie Treats. and it's like yeah it's frustrating sometimes but i love doing it i love helping people mm -hmm. it's so fulfilling when you fix somebody's problem and you're like Thank you so much, Anita. I'm so grateful for you. I'm like, thank you for your business. Mm -hmm. You pay me. I can move mountains for you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I yeah. think that's the biggest thing that I miss about practice that um, maybe is not really that visible in corporate. I'm not saying that it's not there at all. Yeah. But seeing uh, the impact that you make. Yeah. Yeah, the impact that you make and 
starting a file from literally an empty from like an, yeah. an empty file to when it until it's this it's finished. this big with a court order and the client is just saying like, yeah oh my god it's you know sometimes i feel like i don't want to wake up and go to work and you take me a client will send you a message like hey anita oh my god thank you so much you know you helping me has made me feel so much better you're like okay you like they remind you why you do what yeah. you do and then you wake up and like okay i have somebody else that i need to help because at the end of the day we are human here we do get tired mm -hmm. sometimes just want to shut down yeah. but you yeah Sana, wow. Hectic. I want my own firm though, like one day. Come partner with me. Yeah, which is my next question. <laughs> uh, please make me a partner. I know this on look. Please let me know when I should send a contract. No, but for real, like, would you consider partnering? Yes, or would I would. You... I mean, well, my previous employer once advised me that I shouldn't partner, mm -hmm. but I think um, they are generation and our generation are completely different right mm -hmm. we are now aware of a lot of things mm -hmm. and we know that we need to be transparent with mm -hmm. certain things and so it's better than yeah because i mean my thing is i do wish to have like a big female owned black, hot yeah. paintings no i like that that's what i want Mm -hmm. I want a friend like that. So I wouldn't mind partnering with a powerful woman like you. Well, I, mean, I wouldn't mind. I just don't want lazy people. But I know you I think you have the work ethic. I think we can make something work. <laughs> I think so too. So send me your, your rates. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got <laughs> admitted four days before me. So you're my senior. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, so our admission <laughs> is like four days apart. Yeah. So I think, I think we can... We can try and figure something out yeah man even if it's like you, you take 16 take 40. i don't you mind can make it work. yeah make it work. i like that i, I was expecting a complete no <laughs> but i don't like going to court do you like going to court no i don't court yeah, so for, i'm gonna have to go to court brief. so it makes it fair that i take more because i'll be doing the court hopping and i'll be doing the office okay fair yeah and then we get a female well i have a female accountant now so it's gonna all strictly female okay i'm not saying just because you know we have a different you identify differently mm -hmm. let me put it like that yeah just because you identify differently we're not saying that we're not gonna hire you as mother porcupine and yeah, yeah? just because but we're saying we do wish for yeah. an all female black successful you know, organization worker. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can also we hire my female candidate attorneys. You, I'm yes. joking. So I don't think they're gonna use this against us. We are joking. It's just yes, a joke. Just jokes. It's just a joke. It's just a jokes. Hey, hey, man, man. It's just jokes. It's just joking. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I'm going to think serious thoughts. Also, like capital wise, we're gonna discuss yes, this off we'll camera. Yes, we'll discuss it. We'll discuss it. We'll yes. have a meeting. Proper meeting. Boardroom vibes. Mm, black and white. Black and white. You know, that's, that's the theme of our life. Yes. Have been um, in the game for over a year, mm -hmm. right? Your firm just turned one on Thursday. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. That is so big. So now that you've been in the game and now that you've had your own firm for exactly one year mm -hmm. what advice would you give to my viewers or subscribers or law students or law graduates or anyone who wants to to own their own firm like me i don't know if mm -hmm. this partnership is gonna work so i might have to it just go work. what do you mean <laughs> it will work it will work <laughs> but people like us that want to have their own firms one yeah. day business wise mm -hmm. uh what advice would you give to just the people start just do it like Again, the world is your oyster. Mm. Is that the right way of saying it then? No, it is. It is true. Yeah. It, is. it just, just sounds weird sometimes. Yeah, because Honestly. you don't like oysters. Yeah, terms, I think but... that, yeah, that makes sense because yeah. I really don't like oysters. And I judge people who eat oysters. But anyway, back to the order of the day. Mm -hmm. um, just begin. Just start. Um, you've got nothing to lose. I always say this. I This is my motivation to me every single day when I want to make a decision. I always ask myself, what do I have to lose and what do I gain from this? Mm -hmm. You know, if it's going to make me better, if it's going to grow me, whether career wise, whether personally, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So just, yeah, also do put yourself out there because it is a community. You cannot make it on your own. You cannot mm -hmm. like be in a corner and expect that 
you know, you will rise like a phoenix. No, for you to rise, you need a community, exactly. a legal community that helps you get there. I've had my community and I'm so grateful for them. It does take a village. So yeah, there's nothing stopping you except yourself. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Just, just follow your, go your goals and follow your dreams and just do whatever you want. And even with law students, don't listen to the negative stuff about, oh no, studying law is this and that. I always emphasize when I motivate people, which is something that I don't like to do because I feel like our genes are different. Yeah. I always emphasize that we don't walk the same paths. Mm. Just because I struggled, it doesn't mean that you'll struggle. You might have it easy, but you'll never know that. Um, excuse me, if you're gonna like, wanna give up or you're not gonna wanna do it because Anita said it's not doable. You're not Anita. So just focus on what you wanna do and what you think will work for you and what you think makes sense for you. Mm. And then chase it. Whole and chase it. Chase your dreams. Like chase mm. the back. Mm. That's all, all that matters. Anything else doesn't matter. Just shut down the noise. The noise is not worth it. And focus on your goals and your dreams and what you want to achieve. I did it. You can do it. There's nothing stopping you but yourself. Mm. And that's on period. Sure. Love that. It's giving, uh, what's that lady with the school? Uh, Oprah Winfrey. Do you know that I almost went to Oprah Winfrey school? <laughs> uh, we're gonna discuss that off camera anyway uh okay just to add on to that she emphasized on the village thing so yeah just to add on to that you guys you know people uh, we may be what p a lot of people call an oversaturated um profession, profession yeah. but this is a very small profession a very small. very small so if you are a woman i would advise you to move wisely because you don't want to be known in the profession as that type of woman and me, when we do partner and we, we have to take on like more women mm -hmm. into the company mm -hmm. uh, we have to recruit a certain caliber of women because you don't want you don't want you don't want documents and then no i can't get into detail because my dad's gonna watch this but I, I think you need to try yourself in a certain way within the profession <laughs> uh, as Mossad. I hope or it, it's, it, I it, think it's clear. clear. It. Yeah, I think it's and clear. It. With that being said, uh, the village as well. So be nice to Kotlex. Be nice the Kotlex, to the security Kotlex guys. are the ones that are going to make or break your case because now if you're late to file, they won't allow you. Now you must remove the metal on the, on the wrong. And it so, took you so long to get the date. So be nice. Diarize every single thing. Oh, I'm always emphasizing on this. Mm. Diarize on every single thing. You need to file something in five days. Diarize it. What I used to do as a candidate, you know what I used to do? Mm. As if I needed to diarize something within five days, I diarize it five days before. Mm. Knowing that after, excuse me, after that five days before that I diarize, and then it gives me a notification that within five days, I need to prep to go and file something. Fine, yeah. yeah. So it would work. Because sometimes we find that on the day that you diarize, you either you find a notification that okay, you need to file something, right? Mm -hmm. On that day, maybe you're in court somewhere. Yeah. Or you're in another program. Oh, that's true. Day. Yes. And there's one in the office to assist you. Then what? Mm. You know. So always diarize. Take notes every single time. Always prepare when you go to courts, especially can get attorneys. Ask for help. Mm -hmm. Like do not be shy to ask for help. I love teaching. The people that I've taught, where I used to work, my boss used to give me interns to teach. They love me so much because I'm the most amazing teacher they've ever had. <laughs> so always make sure that you seek help. Don't be scared to ask for help. You will never know everything. I still don't know anything. I still have my seniors who did this before me. I still go to them and ask for their help. So it is a village and it takes a village in this profession. We are always going to struggle. Like we are constantly learning. The rules are changing, are constantly changing. You cannot keep up. So you need people in your community to help you make it. Mm. Sit a mouthful. Love that chat. And that's on period. That's on per. <laughs> anyway, but thank you so much for coming, Chomi. Thank you for having me. I'm so proud of you. You're doing so well that I want to be part of this organization. I don't even thank mind us. It doesn't need to be money when I need let's, let's, let's discuss your contract. Of course, of course. Let's discuss that. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
anyway this don't forget to follow her i'm gonna like link her handle i mean follow me guys i'm funny mm, i'm funny she is oh she is of course you are chums uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's subscribe to mother porcupine's sure. youtube channel it's very nice it's giving clean girl aesthetic <laughs> you think so i do have you seen yourself